Hi everyone, it's Jackie with the Paper Moments and sharing with you my next uh, project for Country Craft Creations uh, using Graphic 45 Bloom Collection and I'm telling you what, this paper is absolutely gorgeous. Um, just beautiful. Um, so here are some of the papers in the collection that I'll be using. As you can tell, the colors are just absolutely stunning. Um, and this is a more of a lime green, uh, although I'm not sure what the camera's showing you there. And then we have, um, this one is called, um, let's see, let me go back to here. I forget they have, uh, this is called Dainty Blossoms. Um, uh, and this one is the Bloom Collection, uh, that's the top page. And then you have the Garden Gate. Beautiful. And then we have Grow with Love, which is our cut aparts. And then the back of that is the, the gorgeous blue. So, is that ever pretty? And then we have Hello Sunshine. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is. Love, love graphic 45 paper. And next we have uh, Life is Beautiful. And that's absolutely gorgeous too. These colors are just so vibrant. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have Petal po uh, Postage. And those are our postage stamps. And then uh, Plant Happiness. The greens are pretty. And then I also received uh, a few, a couple of sheets of the new um, My Color, My Colors cardstock um, in the blues and the pinks. So, and oh, and the greens. So that will be beautiful to use with for. Uh, mat, photo mats in this collection. And then I also received the um, stickers for the collection. And then some beautiful uh, Country Craft Creations uh, same binding. And that's all going to go wonderful. So uh, my plan is to create an album that is going to be a different in size than I normally make. So it's going to be, uh, the cover is going to be nine and a half by six and a half. The pages are going to be six by nine. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the pages first and then we'll make the cover afterwards uh, once we have the pages made. Uh, so that way I can make the hinge uh, as well for the cover. So starting with black cardstock, so I'm using um, Artesian Country Craft uh, Creations Artesian Black cardstock, which is 90 pounds. Everything I've shown you so far can be purchased at the Country Craft Creations uh, store, which is www.countrycraftcreations.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to just message me and I will gladly uh, answer them. So, starting with the page one. Our, starting with our pages, let me go ahead and get those done here. Uh, okay. I'm going to make a four page album on this one, but it's going to be very interactive. So, what you're going to need is to cut four pages. Uh, pieces of cardstock that are six by nine, and then you're going to need to cut four pieces that are six by ten. And on the six by ten ones, we're going to uh, let me get my phone folder here. I know I had it. I don't know where it is. So we're going to, on your 6x10, you're going to 
score it at a half, and then you're going to score it again at nine and a half. So let's go ahead and get those all scored. So score it at a half and at nine and a half. A half and nine and a half. And a half and nine and a half. And then we're going to make our pages. On one half, one side of your cards, uh, your six by ten, go ahead and miter the corners. Fold your score line over and burnish. Taking your six by nine, you're going to adhere it with your, I'm using the art glitter glue. Uh, you can use whatever adhesive you would like. And I'm going to go ahead and match my edges. over here and do the top. Okay, and the reason why I have you I the reason why I notch my edges on the one side is this is the side that's going to be out in your um, album whereas this will be the side that's not uh, notch will go onto your hinge and to help you to help myself I usually mark it with a little thing so I know that's the side up when I go to make my pages. Just a little something that I do. So burnish your edges or your score lines. Go ahead and miter your corner on one side on both top and bottom. And we're going to add the adhesive and make these up.
and the last one. All right. For page one, you're going to need uh, two pieces of cardstock. This is going to be page one, the front. Two pieces of cardstock cut out. One cut at five and three five and three fourths by nine, and one cut at five and one fourth by nine, and then on the five and one fourth by nine, you're going to score it a half an inch on the left hand side, and on the five and three fourths by nine, you're going to score it on a half an inch on the right hand side. are going to fit right here on the top and it's going to go like this. Okay. So because they are the same length as my face page, I'm going to miter my corners so that way I have a smooth uh, line when I go to add my pattern paper. I'm going to add my first one on my left hand side, which is going to be my 5 and 1 fourth by 9. I'm just going to match it edge to edge right against the Do the same thing with the five and three fourths by nine.
Now I won't be using magnets on this because I'm going to be using the seam binding to hold my uh, pages, to shut, keep my pages closed. So the back of page one, you want to cut a piece of cardstock four by seven. And this is going to be a pocket. So you want to score a half an inch on all on three sides. And then I'm going to miter my corners for my pocket. Miter my top edges. Hold my score lines over, burnish. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to trim my corners just a little bit. So when I fold these over, they will, they're not overlapping and they are, that's what I need to, so when I go to fold them over, they're not overlapping. I don't know if we can see that. So there's extra space here. And that way, by doing that, it allows your pocket to lay flat and with less bulk. So I'm going to add the adhesive on all three of my folds. And this is going to fit right, okay, so this is the side that's going to be up when you open it. So you want to just put it right there at the bottom. Okay. Page one is done. Now for page two. <clears throat> Again, this is the side, the right hand side, which is going to be in your album for your uh, photo map. Uh, this left side is going to be attached to the hinge. So for page two, we're going to make two pockets. All right. So you're going to need two pieces of cardstock cardstock cut at three and three fourths by six and two pieces that are cut at three and a half by seven. On the three and a half by seven 
you want to score it on three sides again because it's going to be a pocket. on the two pieces uh, that are three and three fourths by six you're just going to score a half an inch at the top because these will be your flaps that go over your pocket okay so go ahead and miter your corners on your pocket And make sure when you fold over your score lines, you want to make sure that they are not overlapping here on the back again. So that way it will be a very smooth, un smooth not bulky pocket. And it lays flat. You better, huh? so that one's good. First pocket's going to go on the bottom of your page. Go ahead and fold your half inch score line over on your top flaps and again miter the corners. I'm going to go ahead and add my top flap just so it helps me know where I want to add my pocket uh, since I don't have really an accurate measurement on where I want to put that pocket so I'm going to put that down take my other pocket okay I need to get my ruler out here Hmm. Okay, I don't 
know what I did with that clear one, so I'll use this one. Okay, so our pages are nine, nine inches tall. So our first pocket's coming up from it's three inches, so it's going to be at nine. So I'm measuring from the top of my bottom pocket, from my top of my bottom pocket to a half, one and a half inches. And I'm just going to kind of mark it here. And that's where I want this second pocket to sit at. Then I'm going to take my other flap, which is your three and three fourths by six, and I want to just butt it right up to the bottom of that pocket or that second pocket there. So that's going to give you two flaps and two pockets for your second page. And this one is not I need to measure this because it doesn't look like it's six inches. So it's a little bit over. Now I will add magnets to these two, so that will hold my pocket down. Okay, flip it over, and you're going to do your back side. And the back side is going to be a five and one fourth by nine and a five and three fourths by nine. You want to score each one at a half an inch along. The five and three fourths you want to score half an inch down, and then on the five and one fourth you want to score half an inch down as well. <coughs> just like the first page. 
you're going to add each one on each side of the page. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and line my corners. I'm going to add my five and three fourths by nine on my left hand side. And my five and one fourth on my right hand side. Page two is done. Page three. Page three, you're going to cut three pieces of cardstock. So the first piece you want to cut is five and three fourths by six and you're going to score that on the five and three fourths side at a half an inch these are going to this is going to be a bottom flap so that's going to fit on the bottom part of your page and I'm just mitering my corners before I glue it down That's going to fit right there on the bottom part of the page. Oh, I got it wrong. So let me, because I want to make sure that my side that my mat's going into has my score, my mitered corners on it. So I put that on the wrong side without checking. Right. So that's your bottom flap. Your top flap is going to be four and three fourths by six, and you want to score it at a half an inch on the four and three fourths side. Hold your score line over. Again, I'm mitering my corners because it's exact same width as my page. And I'm going to add that to the top. Match it seams, top seams, side seams together. Okay. And then the last piece that you're going to cut is a two and a half by seven. And this is going to be a little pocket at the bottom of your bottom flap. So you want to score it at half an inch on all three sides to create a pocket. Go ahead and miter your corners.
and we're going to just stick that down here at the bottom. Before I do that, I want to make sure that, and this one isn't, again, reducing the bulk of my pocket. All right. I'm going to add my adhesive. And I'm just going to fit it, match it seam to seam on the bottom. your page three. So you got a flap up, a flap down, and then a pocket. Turn it over for the back of page three. And the back page you're going to cut Three pieces of cardstock that are four by six, and three pieces of cardstock that are five and three fourths by five. On the three that are five and three fourths by five, you want to score them at a half an inch. Your next three pieces are going to be cut four by five and a half, not four by five by six. So it's going to be four by five and a half. So I need to trim these each. So. Take that extra half an inch off of there because I don't need it. And on these three, you're gonna these are gonna be pockets. So you're gonna score these at half an inch on three sides. you want to go ahead and miter all your corners to make sure that your pocket lays flat and I'm going to do one and then I'll show you what I'm doing here Taking your five and three fourths by five, fold your score line over, and then you're going to, okay. Okay, I was wrong. I did need it four by six, so I will have to cut more of those. But go ahead and. Some here. I'm going to go ahead and do this again. Okay.
Alright, let's try this again. So you want four by six, three of them. And actually when you cut these, you're going to cut six of each size because the page on page four is going to match this one. So it's going to be an open page that they're both are going to have the same on it. So you want to cut six of the five and three fourths by five and six of the four by six. Okay, so this is five and a half. These should be five and a half, not five and three fourths. I really messed this up. Five and a half by five. Pull these over. And then you're going to add your pocket right on here like this. Go ahead and make the rest of mine and these up so I don't mess them up again. So I want to score these at a half an inch. They are five and five and a half by five. And I want to score all three of them at five inch a half an inch. Over. Four by sixes, I want to score them at a half an inch on three sides.
So again, you should have six pockets and six flaps. checking to make sure that they're not overlapping so I'll have a very smooth pocket there. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other three. Now, on page three, on the back of page three, your score line wants to be on your left, and on your page four, the score of your flap wants to be on your right. So match up your pocket to the score and to the edge of the paper.
Okay, why is this not? All right. So, page three, back of page three, we're going to take the flaps that are on the right hand side. So I'm going to lay the first one down and I'm going to miter the top of this one because I'm going to line it up with the top of the page. And I'm going to put it on the side that's going to go be open. So the opposite of what's going to be attached to the hinge. So I'm going to go ahead and Line it up against the side. And then I'm going to, the next one's going to go. And okay. Two inches from the top, I'm going to add the second one. And then the third one is going to be four inches from the top. And it's going to match up match it up with the bottom okay okay that's your third page so go ahead and get your fourth page that's the back of your third and then your fourth page you want to do the same thing, but you're going to do this on the opposite side. So when you open your book, this is going to be where your hinge is. Okay. This is the side with the hinge. So this is going to go on this side here. So you'll have one, two, three. Let's pull that over so you can see it. All right. So. This is your back of your third. This is the front of your fourth. You're going to put these over here on this side. So this is opening this way, and this one will open that way. So let's go ahead and miter my top. up to the top here. I'm going 
to bring it down the next one two inches from the top. Okay, so get my next one out here. And I'm going to turn this just so I can see it. So two inches from the top. I'm going to add my second. And then I'm going to measure four inches from the top. And that one should be that's right up meet the bottom. And I do want to miter the bottom one of these. up with the bottom of my page. I don't have, I have this one over too far. It's one thing you got to watch when you do this is that you don't, you're really lining them up right because otherwise they're not going to, and this one I see I put over too far. So, I'm going to have to pull it out to re- And again, make sure that you're keeping them right up to the edge, or otherwise it's going to happen again. So. Went on to the back. The back, you're going to do another set of your five and one fourths by nine. 
four and a half an inch along the uh, four, five and a fourth side. And then five and three fourths, and you want to score it again. Okay, make sure your paper is cut at nine inches, not like I just did at eight and a half. A couple of boo boos there, didn't I? All right, let's see. Cut this at nine. Cut one at five and three fourths. Five and one fourth. Here's page four. Okay, those are your four pages. You will need to cut mats for your side pocket eight and seven eighths by five and seven eighths so you need four of those and then I'll uh, we'll come back and do the cover and then do the cut the cardstock for the inside uh, front and back cover as well so um, 
Give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. I am so sorry. Uh, I've lost the last part of the video that I recorded. Uh, somehow it didn't take and it, there was no sound. So for to continue on with the uh, pages for your uh, Bloom album, uh, I'm, what I missed was the front and back cover of the album. So what you're going to need to do is cut two pieces of cardstock at 6 by 9 and then two pieces of cardstock that are 5 by 9.5. On that 9.5 by 5 on the 9.5 side you want to come down and score half an inch and on the 6 by 9 you want to score a half an inch along the 6 inch side. Alright and then we're going to fold those over and the score line and then also you're going to need to make your waterfall for both of these and uh, you're going to need uh, five or actually you're going to need ten. Ten uh, pieces of cardstock cut at three and a half by four and a half and you want to score on the four and a half inch side at a half an inch and then you're going to want a piece of cardstock for the waterfall, the base is going to be three and a half by five and a half. So, this one's a little bit longer than I would need, so three and a half by five and a half. I'm going to kind of go ahead and cut it there. So, to this is for the inside front cover and the inside back cover. So you're going to take your uh, six by nine sheet with a half inch of score line folded over all right and you're going to add that to the front part of your cover and I'm going to go ahead and bring this in so it's going to be this part right here that you're going to be adding on okay then your nine, five by nine and a half you're going to score at the uh, nine and a half side and then you're just going to add that right on there. So let me get the adhesive here. And uh, it's going to be a fourth of an inch on, on each side and just line it up at the top. Okay. And that's going to be your piece that flips up and it's going to come down and this is going to flip over, open on your inside cover. For the waterfall, take your five and a half or your three and a half by five and a half as your base and then you want to fold over your score lines and all ten pieces of your three and a half by four and a half. So you should have two bases and then 10 of your waterfall pieces and what you're going to do is just a heat I hear your adhesive here and then go ahead and just match it up right there to that and then and this did not turn out to be three and a half oh that, my gosh let me double check what I'm doing here yeah did not cut that off. Okay, so five and a half by three and a half is your base, four and a half by three and a half is your actual waterfall, and all you're going to do is add each piece. So you want to put adhesive on the back of that, and then here's where you meant, uh, adhered the first one, match that up, align it up. And there's your second one. Go ahead and do your next one. Be careful, don't let it move on you like that mine just did. All right. You want to tear them all down. there's your waterfall. Okay. 
Okay. Now, you can't add your waterfall until after you've added your designer paper, but that is going to go right up there on top. Once you've added designer paper to your actual pages, then you will hear your waterfall. And all I do is I put a magnet here on the front flap and then hook it to the back, add my adhesive, and then just put it right on top of the designer paper where I want it. So that is your front and back cover. Super easy. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, fussy cutting or anything going on there. Uh, so for your cover, your actual album, you want to uh, have two pieces of chipboard that are six and a half by nine and a half, and then your spine is two and a half by nine and a half. And you're going to go ahead and make your cover like you normally would a cover. So you want to uh, go ahead and you know I had lay it down that. You've got a six and a half by nine and a half chipboard on blah, your cardstock, and then your two and a half by nine and a half, and then your nine and a half by six and a half for your back. And then just that is your cover. I didn't do anything fancy with the cover. It's very simple, but you can tell that it's nice and full. It's a nice size album. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or call, text me, message me. Uh, I will be here to answer you. Uh, if you got my phone number, go ahead and call me. <laughs> uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. For the cover of our Foley uh, album, we're going to cut two pieces of cardstock that are six and a half by nine and a half. That's your front and your back cover. And then you're going to cut one piece at two and a half by nine and a half for your spine. I've already cut my uh, cardstock to 11 and a half by 12, allowing for an inch on each uh, top and bottom for my uh, fold over. I've already scored my one inch guide on the bottom of my paper, uh, as that's what I use to guide for my guide for my uh, where to place my chipboard. And then I've added score tape so I can. I, I pair these two pieces together so I have enough to, for my cover. And I'm just going to attach them. Garnish them down. I have a very smooth seam there. Okay. So on my chipboard, I did add my score tape to it using the score sheets, uh, which I just love when I make my albums because it's so much easier, quicker. And so let me, starting with the spine, I'm removing my score tape backing and I'm going to line the spine up with right along so the seam is in the middle of my spine and I'm just adding that right to my matching it up with my score line at the bottom right here to keep it even and I'm going to add a score tape here on each side And then my front and back cover. So I'm going to score this backing. And I'm just going to butt it up against my score line on the bottom and
same as this that they have. Oops. Shoot. That didn't work out too well. I do that. If you don't burnish your score tape down, that's what happens. It pulls right up. So it's a good example of why you want to make sure that you're you're burnishing your score tape. Alright. And again, button it right up to my score line at the bottom. on each side, I just put it in my, and match it up with my one inch, and then cut it off, so that way I've got the one inch on each side. 